how can you hear me? Question mark. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right, so uh, we got this set up here. We got this set up here. All right, uh, might as well start off with an intro. Hey, this is Alex, uh, QA at Stitch Media, and I'm doing a playthrough of Terrarium today and just uh, doing a playthrough of the alpha and listing some things that could be improved or like trying to look for bugs or whatever. And I'll be making note of that. All right. So, let's press play. Right now I'm playing with the Xbox controller, and the first thing off the back is you have to press comma to get comma one more time. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right. So, oh yeah, right now I'm over the Mugu thing. You can see it in the bottom left corner. It's basically uh, what type of Mugu I've selected. Alright, so let's switch to Fire Mugu because they shoot quicker. One thing I like to do here is just shoot a shitload of Mugu in here. Right, and you'll note they move. Wait for them to settle and then switch type to Heavy. And sometimes it didn't happen there. But depending on how the Mugu are set on there, when their weight increases, it'll cause things to go flying. Let's try it now. See, now we got some. Uh, a uh, fire tornado. How do I how do I start a fire tornado? Do you want me to throw Mugu into this wind tunnel, which has a three point thing going, so it creates a loop of fire Mugu. <coughs> mm-hmm. Let's see. Back here, there's not a whole lot to do. You can't light this stuff on fire or bash it. Right? Yeah. Uh, one thing I found interesting is actually um, a lot of these plants you can light up are uh, better, or slightly better spawn points than the ones later in the game. So here I'll throw like a boatload of heavies in here. And now I got a boatload of corpses to work with. And we'll just spread up here. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Treat, treat. All right. Um, I think I have slightly less movie than what I started out with, but that's not a big deal. So we got this burned down. I just like I just like to burn it. You don't actually have to do it, but uh here. So one funny thing about this area is the spin box is actually uh, bigger than it appears. So let's say you're walking here with a uh, fire mugu. Do do do. Right. Oh, no, oh, it's happening. There we go. That's why you can. Get Mugu everywhere, light up these little bushes here, recall. I'm just going to do the same thing as before. Throw in about half my heavies. Switch to fire. And just stock up for the puzzles ahead. Uh, so I got the gate to open by... Nope, nope, nope. So I threw a boatload of Mugu on here, and it's hard as, I don't know if you can see that easily. Let's see if I can change the angle. Yeah, so here you can see there's a weight value out of 10. And as I switch between Mugu, um, the weight value changes. So obviously heavy Mugu are worth one, and fire Mugu are worth zero. So, yeah. So as you switch, it'll update. So I like to, by default, have Fire Mugu selected just because they move in group. They move faster and they group easier. So we'll move up to the gate. 
recall everything and whoop, switch to heavy and then that'll turn the plate on over there um all right so here we will use our fire bully so what you do is you switch to fire and if you see the blue ball i mean blah, the green ball right over here set it here press left trigger and you saw a little a couple red mugu go up there make the bomb and kaboom Yeah, yeah, it'd have to be heavy, Mugu. So here I've unlocked uh, the Demon Gardener. Straight out of hell. But you can only see her true form in Fire and Brimstone. Otherwise she just looks like a anime girl. Um, just gonna... Kababble. The bejeebus out of these. Alright, come on up. Now here we got... Actually, I kind of want to do it like this. Let's see. I'm going to fire some heavies on this wind, wind tunnel. And then turn them into fire. Okay, so they don't uh, move. But if we fire them, look at them go. And there they are. Oh, can I get them? Sweet. So now let's uh, go here. Let's see where they fall down. They fall down behind me? How about this? Yeah, so now I can create. Kind of got a little loop going. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. All right, sweet. Come down. Come down. Cool. All right. Oh, here this is a kill plate. So in this state, it doesn't kill anything. And here, if you throw some Mugu on, they die. Actually, we got some. This is tricky, yeah. Because uh, you see those corpses there, they're rolling away. So I think I gotta go more like here. There we go. There we go. Kill two. Okay, I'm losing Mugu. I'm losing Mugu. But rest assured, you can breed Mugu through there. Every time I try that, they flew off into space. Uh, interacting with the kill plate or interacting with the air tunnel over here. And here we have one little Mugu uh, freaking out. So here we have a fire plant. Our Mu fire Mugu are Gouda against it. But you throw in a few... Heavy Mugu, and they die. Oh, we got two little Mugu freaking out over here. So this is a wind tunnel for our Mugu. They're going to fly away. We walk in with a few. We're going to lose them, as you can kind of see there. Come on, come on. And I find uh, sometimes Mugu like to freak out if they've been hurled. But if you... Uh, just throw them back. They uh, kind of calm down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the angle at which you throw into the tunnel is important. I think the further back you are, it just slobs it. But I notice closer, it doesn't go as crazy. So, uh, obviously this fire plant needs to be moved back. But, like, the goal is... The intended puzzle here is, yeah, fire, air, fire, air. Obviously, I'm just going to walk on this fire plant. Da, 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 da. Ah, whatever. My platform is not no Mugu left behind. So this area is a little tricky right now, because we got... See, this wind box is like the wind box from before, but it's the uh, earlier version, which means you can see the whole area of effect. And you can see right, right here. It's hard to, it's hard to get this area here. 
That's a win box. You don't want to walk walk to it normally. This game, I bet the depth of the dark is amazing. That's a that's a very interesting hypothesis, AJ. Very interesting hypothesis. Kappa. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. Uh, uh, okay, so. We good? We good? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got it there. Dope. So, here, these little firebugs, when they get hit by Fire Mugu, they explode. Or they start. See, see them going. And then kaboom. So, what we want to do is. Ugh. Come on. Huh? Huh? One short. Ugh. Story of my life. Alright, so now this switch, having this plate, turns out this was on fire before. Might still be on fire? It shouldn't be on fire anymore. But it looks like it's, uh, Smoldering, let's say? Smoking? So I don't have many Mugu left. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, it's stuck. Sweet. So even if I turn the Mugu back into fire... Yeah. They kind of remind me of the bugs from uh, Fallout New Vegas, the ones you encounter in the beginning. I can kind of mess you up. Alright, so, we're out of Mugu. Things don't look good. This is a kill plate, by the way. A Mugu kill plate. Thankfully, right now I can just kind of... Over those uh, rocks. Alright, so, here we have the end of the puzzle. The... Uh, boss that we are trying to capture to take its toenails or something. Um, hmm. Do I have enough Mugu for this? I'm gonna go make a few more. Come on. Obey me. Obey me. So we're gonna take these Mugu over to our kill box over there. I'm just gonna ferry them over. No, Mugu, no! What are you doing? Okay, what? where are those going? Okay, so they're kind of going under me? Okay, that didn't, uh... Okay, okay, we got Mugu. I think we have less than what we started with. So I'm going to throw a few... Alright, I have to wait for this box to turn red. Then we're gonna... Oh, damn it, why are the corpses rolling on this? <laughs> okay, sweet. Alright, so we got some corpses. And we're gonna throw in a few more. And then recall them back. Okay, this is good. Yeah, yeah, they got, uh, the heavy Mugu got confused. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, okay, all right, good, good. We got a good number. We just got to wait for this to go away. And we can get a nice little army. Uh, I want a few more. I want a few more. There we go. And I'm using the call ability to call them back to me. Yeah, the Mugu do not like... They don't like what I'm selling here with this uh, bypassing the rock. As you can see right now, yeah, yeah, they are a little sensitive to vertical. Like even this little rock here, 
you can see that they're like, whoa, whoa, gotta go around. Yeah, now we got a nice little little mess going on here. Someone could maybe clip this. I don't know if they, if uh, anyone has that kind of technology. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Serious time, serious time. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Okay, so we're gonna make. I like to sign off this puzzle like. I don't remember what's. Oop. Come back, Mugu. Damn it, the Mugu! I threw in, just went across. Okay, so those Mugu die. And we're trying to lead this monster out with Mugu corpses. Take the Mugu! Take him! No! No! Why? I did it all for you. Okay, alright, alright. You're feeling, you're feeling better? Go! Go! There are corpses there! Go! I'm not gonna lie, this does not feel like... This does not look like 34. Right, we're gonna... I'm gonna keep at this. I'm gonna switch these to heavy Mugu. I'm gonna get those Mugu over there. So we're just gonna ferry them over the river. I do like how it shoots Mugu closest to you. That's a very uh, cool kind of thing. Because sometimes Mugu gets stuck on things, so you can just kind of go up and lob them off. It's like throwing a cat out of a tree. That's how that works, right? Huh? Go. Come on, special ability. Maybe this will work? I'm trying to left trigger here and use the heavy Mugu's anvil ability to trigger the plate. That's not cooperating right now. Go, go! Go! Go. No, no, I was, I was using left trigger before to turn it on. Let's see if it works. So this drains the riverbed. Okay, so we got a, we got one anvil there. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe we can kind of just. There we go. So you gotta be delicate. Come on, you stupid. You wacky boss, you. Go, go get it. One, two, fire Mugu, and now the boss is in a capturable state. I beat it! I beat the game! Alright, and that's all for me. I'll see you all next week. Have a good one. And just kidding. Alright, so... Uh, we have survey, play again, or quit. I'm just gonna click play again. If there are any suggestions in chat on uh, what to do, feel free to th blah, feel free to throw them my way.
That's like that. Did I get any of those blocks in? No. All right, so we got some fire going on here, right? Uh, okay, so go, go cacti boxes. Go in. Nope, didn't get any in. Uh, uh. Yeah, like this little fire bush. It's a better kill pit than the kill pits in the game. Because you can just kind of, you know, you lob in, you lob in your heavies. Or you gotta, you gotta light it up first. You gotta 420 this up. I tried, Aaron. I tried. I tried so hard, Bernstina. That is how you pronounce your name, right, Bernstina? I find when I don't want to get the cacti in the wall in the in this thing here, I I, I get it done. But otherwise, it's just uh, come on. Oh wait, I'm throwing heavies. Silly Billy, you can't throw heavies. Yeah, let's let's just throw in. So on a butt load. Hmm? Is this good? Is this is this is this a lot? Is this a lot of mugu? Got some mugu chopped on the ground. Got some mugu. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Do I even have Mugu? Alright, I have. Hmm. I am mugu -less? No, no, we, we got a few. Call, call. Okay. Boop. Alright, so we're gonna light this up. Some heavies. Oh, we got we got some reinforcements. I turn them all into heavy when they're in the fire. Am I Mugulus? No, no, we got a few, we got a few. Okay. Light it up. Recall, throw in a few. Put in half, put in some fires. Part of me almost thinks Mugu should pop like three or four at a time instead of two, just cause like my experience has been it kind of takes a while to to breed up an army. I don't know what the intent is for like if if I should get a what's in the latest build getting three. Just, let's just walk away, let them do the deed. Call. Breathe faster. <laughs> Alright, I think this is a good amount. We're getting there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm not pitching it out as a like this is a Herculean programming effort. It's more as a design thing. Okay, now we're now we're cooking with propane. And here, whoop, just shoot some move off off the stage. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, no fire. 
there's no fires. Is the plate open? It's not. It was at seven. Like, I can count, but sometimes it lies to me. Sometimes it says, like, nine, and it's open. So, like, I just stopped. I don't believe they'll play it anymore. Okay. Plate says 12. And we're good. Hey, hey, get back here. Get back here. That's technically we can turn on the top. Come on. Come on, you stupid Mugu. There we go. Alright, heavy. <laughs> Get back here. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> You do you. Okay, we're gonna see if I can uh, get over. Just walk over these rocks. Whoop, 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 whoop. Going to fire. Launch these cacti into oblivion. While shooting some of my own heavies off the stage. Um. I'm gonna use the fire plant to refill. There we go. Now we got a good number. But I do kind of want to show off how these fire moves interact. So we'll throw a few over here. Oh. It's just kind of. <laughs> I swear the wind force is higher, right? Because when I shoot them in, they go flying. Boop. When you arc them over, and then you say call them back, it just kind of slowly. Slowly. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. In old builds, I used to be able to walk around this. That's an easier place to try it from. But as... I think... I think that side has a little more distance. Uh, first, let's prepare for success. Let's see if we can lob over Mugu. Step one done. Step two, let's see if we can. Uh, 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 uh. Yes! Yes, I did it! <laughs> No! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You're so good, don't you, game? You're so special. Alright, boop! Now, these Mugu start acting real crazy when you start incorporating, uh... Uh, vertical terrain. All right, all right, all right, all right. There we go. Made a firebomb and exploded. And now it burns forever. All right. Throwing a few. 
few more. Okay. Well, we didn't get that many out of that, but we have a boatload of corpses in here. Okay, and a few... Two more cycles, we should be good. And call, call, call. I think this should probably be enough. Yeah. Would be nicer if the timer on this was longer, so you had more, like maybe double its off time, so there's more time to breed up. Uh, frame rate's very good uh, on the VRPC. Very good. I think I turned it on ultra. It's either very, very high or ultra. How many movie do I have? 48? Sweet. Alright. So you see, now we're, we're trying to smoke out the boss, right? So that'll, uh, that'll make this go easier, right? So that works. Oh, oh. Now, does it only go for one? Because like, it seems to stop after it has one. In the latest build, that kill box is an enemy that swings a club. Uh, uh, so we're going to throw it here. Come get it, you stupid. And then we'll turn these to heavy, so we can't move. And wait for those anvils to be put over there to disappear. Stop. Go away. Hmm. I think we have to trigger this with the anvil ability? Yeah, it has to be the anvil ability. Heavy movie doesn't work. And now we're going to throw this, and oh, it actually worked. Last time I did this, it didn't. So, that's sweet. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's about it for, for this. Uh, I think everything else is a little boring. I kind of want to log some stuff. Unless anyone in chat wants me to do something specific, I'm uh, going to wrap it up here. Bit of a short one, but we're trying to push this out by... Uh, End of day Friday, I believe this is the schedule, so yeah. Let me know. I'm just gonna have a quick drink. I can turn my webcam off so you can see. Yeah, see, you see here in the bottom left, this is. You can switch between fire or heavy. All right. Well, since I haven't heard back from anyone, I'm going to wrap it up here and go back downstairs. So thanks for watching. I believe tomorrow we have Fireside Chat, the uh, Fireside Chat with uh, Evan and Natalie. So yeah, tune in for that. See ya.